a spot that I did not know the name of, but it is beautiful here. There's not many places in far north Queensland that you can come to and not have to worry about crocs, especially when it's a river, because you know everything up here in far north Queensland just wants to eat you. Go yeah, puppies. It's dog friendly too, so we brought the puppies along. They seem to be loving it. Yeah, it's just such a good spot. There's a nice bit of current rushing through here. Not too much, but enough for it to be fun. And just crystal clear water. In the rainforest too. It's like, wow, what a good spot. It has the first and second highest mountains in Queensland. We're not walking up either of those mountains. We're walking up, I think it says it's the 14th highest for its elevation and it's the third highest for its prominence, which means from its base to the summit. The mountain is called Walsh's Pyramid and it literally looks like a pyramid. It's got, it's like, it's just a triangle. It's if a kid drew a mountain, that's what it looks like just boop, boop. it does say that it takes about four to six hours for experienced hikers we are not experienced hikers so this could be a very steep landing curve no pun intended do you have anything you want to say about this um i hate hiking and i have low iron so We're about uh, almost a third of the way up, and uh, Chanel Bell's tired. Yeah. <laughs> That's okay. We'll keep walking because you're a soldier. That's the first checkpoint. We are one third of the way up. We reached a bit of a lookout and decided, oh well, Chanel's decided to take a break, so I've stopped with her. Mm. I'm feeling actually surprisingly good at the moment. When we first started, I was feeling pretty, and like this was going to be really hard, but now. Since I've warmed up, I'm feeling pretty good. How are you feeling, Chanel? I never hike, so it's really hard. <laughs> two thirds of the way up the mountain. The view is pretty, pretty amazing. We're level with a cloud. Yeah, All right, I am a little confused now. There's some writing on the rock here saying halfway, but yeah, on the map, it said point two is further down there. No, I thought we just walked past it and missed it. Now it's here. And there are three, there are three kilometers in this mountain. There are three sticks in the ground, so you'd think that by being at number two, it'd be two thirds of the way, but this says halfway, so I don't know. I think we are pretty close though, <laughs> from how high we are. As you can see, we're in the clouds right now. Pretty good, I think we're, we must be close. I mean, we're in the clouds, so we're obviously up high. Yay! <laughs> we have done our third kilometer. 
we saw this one review of the person walking it. They said zero to one kilometers is easy. Then one to two moderate, then two to three is hard. And yeah, that's pretty correct. Now we're going three plus and it's kind of just moderate again. Some little hard bits here and there, but I've been getting this feeling similar to a feeling that I get when I'm free diving. It's not as strong when I'm doing this, but every now and then I get this little feeling of when should we turn back? Because with this, I don't want to turn back. I want to make it to the top, but I just keep, I can't help but think like, oh, should we maybe turn back here? And I get that feeling with free diving because in free diving, however far you swim down, you still have to swim that same length back to the surface. When walking up here, however far we walk up, still have to walk that same distance down to the surface. I think this is the top. Me too. I mean, you can walk further, but I think this is probably the highest point that we're on right here. We made it. It's cold up here. Mm. Yeah. It's because there's a, there's a bit of breeze. But we are in a full whiteout, as you can see. Literally, right there, I can see cloud going through. Like, just barely, very faintly, but I can see cloud moving through there. That's cool, man. Oh my gosh, it's just cleared up for a second. Look at that. Ha! <laughs> that is so cool. Okay, as much as I want to stay here for an hour, we have to head back down. It's taken us three hours to walk up, and so coming down, I wouldn't be surprised if it takes four. Yeah. Because we've got to take our time. It's very steep, like no joke. Almost rock climbing kind of steep. No, actually we were. We were rock climbing a bit. Yeah. We just came from over there, but I'm, I'm going to say that this point that I'm standing on right now is probably the highest point of this mountain, so... Yeah, but the very end of the trail is up there. Anyway, heading down, heading down. All right, we've made it to post number three on our way down. It's pretty cold and wet up here, but it's not like bad. And we are back underneath the clouds. Clear visibility of our view now. Not as impressive from the top, but yet still quite impressive. We're down low enough to start feeling the warmth again. It was actually so nice up there. For once, you're not just struggling to stay cool. It was actually, it was actually such a good temperature up there. Because like around here, if you exert yourself in the slightest, you'll start to sweat, and I hate it. So up there, yes, I mean, I was getting rained on, and so I was still wet, but it was just such a good temperature. And um, I'm not sweating yet, but I can feel it is getting warmer. Luckily, my, my shirt's still wet from the rain. It's kind of keeping me cool. All right, here we are at number two. This one uh, took us an hour and 20 to get to from the bottom. And then from here, it took us another hour and a half to get to the summit, so. Right now, the clock is on one hour, seven minutes. Uh, so yeah, we've made pretty good time on the way down so far. <laughs> Wait, how are you walking? Whoop, well, nah. I don't know how you're walking down this, because it's actually slippery. Because I got pretty grippy shoes. If you'd bought those ones that I recommended, you'd be able to walk down this. Yeah, those ones are cuter. Wow, oh, Walsh's Pyramid. Walsh's Pyramid conquered. Feels good. Feels very good. So my phone died midway through, and then we started the timer on Chanel's phone. That's at 38. Not really sure what it was at when my phone died. I'm guessing like an hour 20. 
it took us two hours, 53 minutes to get up there. And then about, what, two hours to get back down. We were expecting it to be the other way. It's faster for us going up and slower coming down, but that was not the case. Far out. That was um, pretty cool. Our legs are dead and very shaky. Ah, my foot is free. I've been wanting to climb up that mountain for a while. Having finally done it, I can say that it feels good. It feels very good. I might even do it again, to be honest. If Sorry. if Chanel, you want to do it again, I know Chanel doesn't Sorry, want to say. So I probably won't. I think as well, we we arrived here at around 10. We got here at 10, and the time now is four o'clock. Yeah, we were reading all these things saying the trail will take about four to six hours. And so that's pretty bang on, six hours. And now we're gonna go get some food. Uh.